What is happening, Sea Wolves Nation? Welcome back to another edition of Inside Stony Brook Football. I'm Sam Niederman, along with new offensive coordinator Andrew Dresner. Coach Drez, nice to have you here at Stony Brook. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How's it been? I mean, this has been a whirlwind for yeah. you as you get settled in. It's been a it's been a great few days. Excited to be on campus. There's a lot of things to do here, so it's it's been a really good time so far. A pretty cool place to yeah. explore yeah. here at Long Island, New York. Excited to have you in as a new offensive coordinator. What is your offense going to look like here at Stony Brook? Yeah. So we're gonna be a pro spread hybrid system. Um, we're going to be able to do a lot of different things from, from a lot of different formations. Um, it's going to be a system that's based on the player's strengths. Um, and what our guys do at a high level, we're going to put them in those positions to succeed. And whether that be more of an under center game, more of a shotgun drop back pass, um, we're going to throw it all at them this spring and, and see what comes out at the end. That sounds really multiple. Yeah. I like that. Yep. How have you been able to develop that throughout your time? You were a play caller at yep. Maine yep. for a few seasons. How has that gone as a process? It's, it evolves every year. And I think, you know, as you watch football, whether it be in the NFL or college, so many guys are doing, uh, dipping their hand into a lot of different schemes. And I think it's important to be versatile and multiple um, and not be pigeonholed into one system. And so I, that's what I really enjoy about coaching the system and calling plays um, in this offense is because it allows you to be very difficult to defend that way. And um, the players are, are excited to know that um, we're gonna use them in a lot of different ways, um, put players in different positions um, for all different types of schemes. And um, it's, been a, it's been a great deal uh, of, of success in our system and, and I'm excited to bring it down here. Let's talk quarterback, Coach. That's a position that you'll be working with closely as the yeah. OC and the quarterback's coach. What do you look for when you evaluate the quarterback room and get to know it? Yeah, the first thing that, that I'll always tell the quarterbacks is we got to have a quick mind. Um, and that has everything to do with recognition, being able to anticipate not just in the pass game, but in the run game as well. And ultimately, it's about executing at a high level. Um, and for us to be able to do that, uh, no matter the play, no matter the scheme, um, being able to solve the, pl the problem at the line of scrimmage, um, whether it maybe be a, a protection that we can't get everybody. Okay, you need to know that we are hot here, we need to get the ball out. Or it's as simple as, hey, this is the situation we need to take a shot at. And so it's gonna be about having that quick mind at quarterback uh, for us to go out um, and play fast. Most important position in sports. Big, big time. Big also, time. you have to have uh, the skill, right? Yeah. When you look at recruiting, when you yeah. look at the, the personnel that you'd like yeah. to bring in yeah. with Coach P and the rest of the staff, what is that going to look like from a skill perspective? Yeah. So versatility is going to be the first and foremost. And right now, um, to recruit receivers and to recruit running backs that can do a lot of different things is going to be really, really important. Um, at quarterback, a guy that can be comfortable throwing the ball fast, getting it out of their hands um, with a one-step throw, being able to make all the throws on the field, um, to keep a defense honest with their feet. Um, that's gonna be important from that position. And at the offensive line, looking for athletic, long players that can be uh, fit in multiple schemes um, and can excel uh, in the offense where we're asking them to do a lot of different things. Coach, What's it going to take to get this Stony Brook offense back on track? How are you planning to get some points on the board? Yeah, this offense is going to be about the players. And that's what we're going to talk about in our first meeting is we are going to do and we're going to put our players in position for success. And um, if that means we're going to take uh, more throws down the field to certain players, those are going to be the guys that fit those jobs. And so I'm a big proponent of putting jobs out there. This is what I'm looking for and looking to fit those jobs because that's what it's going to take to be successful in this, in this scheme. So we're going to be exciting. We're going to excel running the football um, and we're going to put together an explosive pass game while ultimately preaching ball security and protecting the ball and make sure we score points when we can. As a play caller with that approach, what are we looking at balance-wise? Is yeah. it a 60-40 a run pass? What yeah. are we looking at there? We're, we're going to be as close to 50-50 as we can. And we're going we're gonna to be difficult to defend from that standpoint because you're not going to know what we're going to do. And um, whether it be formationally, motions to put our guys in position where they have great leverage, they have great angles to make their blocks, they have, we have great windows to make the throws, that's going to be how we game plan and we put together, um, you know, ultimately week to week to put our guys in position for success. Coach, you've been in the CAA five seasons at Maine, the last few as the offensive coordinator. You've had success there at Maine part of the final four run back in 2018. Yeah. You know what it takes 
to have a successful offensive unit in this league. What does it look like when you go up against some of the best competition in FCS? What, what a tough conference we're in. And to play mistake-free offensive football is, is the most important thing we can do. So to put our guys in position where they know their jobs inside and out, to be confident in that job, that's the most important thing we can do. And then from there, we gotta excel in situations, be tremendous in the red zone, make sure we can drive the field in a two minute drill, but it's putting our guys and making sure they're prepared for all those situations during the week. So that when we get in there, it's let's go and let's go play. Coach, as you and your family get settled in here to Long Island, what are you guys excited about the most with the new exciting location? Yeah. There's just so many things to do. There's so many places to eat and to have a community that's so invested in this program and this university, um, it's gonna be exciting to be a part of it. Well, Coach, we are looking forward to having you here at Stony Brook. Spring Drill's right around the corner, it's man. coming up. It'll coming be up. here before we know it. Yep. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much, appreciate it.